Hello my grade 9th charms. Welcome back to Tuition Master's Class 9th and 10th YouTube channel. And today we are here with your next chapter of Beehive that is the snake and the mirror. A very short, uh, you know, a very short uh, story written by Vaiko Mahmud Bashir that is snake and the mirror. So today, as you guys know, we are going to do a quick summary. Then we are going to do some important questions and all, right? So let us start. Make sure before starting, you have to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel right away if you did not do it. So this chapter starts with a doctor and a snake. Okay. So what happens is that a doctor, he's a homeopathic doctor. He comes home after a dinner. Okay. It was a hot summer night and the doctor had its meal at the restaurant and returned back home. Now, the rented home was not electrified. So he lighted the kerosene lamp. Okay. Then he took off his coat and shirt and opened the two windows. So what happened? He did not live in a very lavish uh, house, bungalow or something. No. He just had a small rented house, you know, and it doesn't have proper electricity also. So he lighted the kerosene lamp, took off his shirt and coat. It was hot, right? And opened the two windows. Now, doctor sees his face in the mirror. He was looking at himself. Now, he was single. Okay, he was single. And he was looking for a wife. So after some time, he settled on the chair and took out a book. He read a book, okay, and there was a large mirror on the table there. Now, in those days, the doctor bothered much about his looks. He was scary or look, okay, am I looking good or not? Am I perfect looking or not? Before he picked up a comb and parted his hair also, he, uh, he, he therefore picked up a comb. He made his style and all, all right. He looked at the reflection in the mirror. He saw himself in the mirror. Then make a smile. You know how people usually, when they're all alone, they look at the mirror and how things they do, right? That, that what he was doing. The room had many rats. Okay, the room had many rats. And hence, he was quite uh, aware of the sounds, the weird sounds which come sometimes, okay? And the making noise, All he was aware about it. The doctor thinks about his marriage. While pacing up uh, down the room while he was uh, looking at the um, mirror and, you know, uh, grooming himself, he uh, a lovely thought struck him. He thought that he would marry. He is already single, so let us marry. He wanted to marry to a lady doctor. Plenty of money. Good medical practice and had to be fat. So what are the four things? What are the four characteristics which the doctor wanted in his wife? She should be a doctor, money, medical practice, and should be fat. Now, why fat? Uh, why fat? The reason is if he made some silly mistake. If the doctor made a silly mistake, he can easily run away. He can easily run away and the fat wife wouldn't be able to run after him. So, that is why he said, I want a fat wife. Now, suddenly a snake fall on the doctor. The doctor sat at the table. He was looking here and there at the mirror himself. Now the sounds of rats had stopped. Suddenly the rats, there was a sound of them stopped. He was suddenly, he thought that what is happening? But okay, no matter. Now, suddenly there was a dull thud. A thud sound came as if something had landed over his shoulder. So when he looked, it was a fat a snake. Before the doctor could think of anything, the snake had coiled around his left arm above the elbow. Okay, above the elbow, he uh, the snake had, you know, coiled himself, right? He had coiled himself around the elbow. Its hood was spread out and its head was hardly three or four inches away from the face. So just three or four inches away from the face, the, you know, this much small the distance was left. Okay. Now, how did doctor think? The doctor sat there as if it was a piece of now. He, if he starts panicking, it will be a problem. So he sat down, relaxed, and he thought only of one help that only God can help me now. Okay, it it seemed God appreciated that. How the snake suddenly turned its head. It turned its head and saw a mirror. He was he. It was like the first time he saw himself in the mirror. He was lost himself, seeing he uncoiled himself. He moved ahead and fell into his doctor's lap. Okay, 
From there, it was creeping on the table and moved towards the mirror to see himself. It wanted to see its reflection more closely. He saw that, wow, in my face, it's so good. So he had never seen a mirror, right? So the doctor said that, okay, he is uncalled, he's so busy looking himself, so I will take this opportunity and run. So he slowly got up from the chair and ran out of the house. Okay. Now, the doctor shifts somewhere else. He reached his friend house and spent his time there early. The night he ran, he said, oh my God, in my house there's a snake this time that I'm staying with you. So he came back to the house the next morning and with his friend, he saw that there were uh, one or two more people also with to move the things. But what they had was they had just had a little to carry. So some thief came that night, took all his things up except his dirty vest. There was no sign of the snake also. So at the end, as mysteriously, the story ends that, you know, the door maybe was open because the doctor was in a hurry. So the door was open. Some thief came. His dirty vest was there only. No, uh, he did not take it. And no, a snake was also not there. So that would happen at the end. So with this, and okay, this was a short chapter, right? We completed in the five, just in five minutes, we completed the summary. Now let's do some questions. Let us read this extract. Uh, one feels tempted to look into a mirror when it is near one. I took a look. In those days, I was a great admirer of beauty and I believed in making myself look handsome. I was unmarried and I was a doctor. I felt I had to make my presence felt. I picked up the cone, ran it through my hair and adjusted the parting so that it looked straight and neat. So this is the extract taken from a chapter. How did the doctor feel when he looked into the mirror? When he looked in the mirror, how did he feel? He was shocked at his ugliness, delighted with his appearance, thankful for God's feature, good features, or he thought that he wanted to look more handsome. So yes, the correct answer is he wanted to look more handsome. Next, the doctor uses the phrase those days to emphasize what? Those days, when you use those days, you know, your parents say, in our days, we used to do this in those days we used to do that right so basically you're talking about the past here so he was narrating something from his past which among these word the, uh, does the word parting means okay parting means parting your uh, hair means there is a line of scalp you know you make that uh, with your comb that is known as parting hair now let us do some subjective questions so how did the doctor show presence of mind when he encountered the snake? Now the snake came, right? Did he panic, ran away, taking a, uh, weapons? I don't know. How did he work? So basically, he worked properly in the presence of mind. Okay. The doctor showed great presence of mind and encountering the snake was still still on the chair. He made no movement. He did no movement because if he does, maybe the snake would attack him. He neither jumped nor cried nor got panicked. He sat still on the chair like a statue holding his breath. His body was calm. But his thoughts inside were stressing. Although his body was calm, but inside obviously someone would be scared. A snake is on you. What do you think? Now, he had great patience. He was patiently sitting there carefully soon he found out that the snake looking at into the mirror instead of biting he was looking at the mirror uh, admiring himself and he uncalled himself so that's why he was safe now uh, uh, because he kept his uh, you know patience and he had panned even a little bit but uh, you know if he would have panned a little bit the snake would have bitten now he's safe because of his presence of mind now next why did the doctor find that he had a little to carry when he returned to his house with his friends? With his friends, the next morning they came, right? Why did he have little things only? The doctor found that he had little things to carry because a thief had entered his room at night and robbed him of all his belongings. So basically, the night he was in a hurry to escape from the snake. So maybe he left the door open and a thief came and robbed the house. All right, and uh, most of his things were taken. The doctor wanted to remove his things from his room because of the fear of snake. But when he reached back home the next day, he found that the thief had left only a dirty vest that the doctor wore. So basically, 
it was a small house he thought that okay there are rats snakes what it's a zoo or something i'll just change my house so he wanted to uh, take back all his things but there was only one dirty vest which the doctor used to wear the thief had just left ev- only that everything except had taken the thief he found a room open and must have taken everything and just left the doctor's dirty vest that you can take this vest remaining things i am taking okay now next one do you think without mirror the story will lose its charm and reality the snake and the mirror if it's the snake only mirror is not there what will happen so it's a long answer listen carefully the story the snake and the mirror would lose its charm and reality without the mirror yeah you have to agree to this mirror. snake and the mirror the chapter names is mirror so without mirror it will lose its charm the mirror fascinates both character that is doctor as well as the snake Doctor makes two important decisions, saving daily and grooming, sorry, growing his thin moustaches to make himself more handsome and keeping a smile on the face all the time so that he gets a beautiful girl, right? The snake also feels attracted to look at his face in the mirror and leaves the doctor up. Correct. So what happens with the mirror? Both the characters are getting fascinated. Doctor make his mustache, parting his hair, doing all the fashion style there, right? And the snake also used uh, saw its charm and left the doctor. Correct. It sits on the table in front of mirror, and the doctor finds an opportunity to go away. So thus, the story is all based on the mirror only. Therefore, it is very important. Without the mirror, it would be something different only. Imagine. Let's imagine. Okay. Uh, we completed the chapter very quickly. Let's imagine. What if in the mirror, right? The mirror would wasn't there. So what would happen? The uh, without the mirror, the doctor wouldn't see himself and get so happy if the snake would have fallen he would have bitten him bitten him right because there was no mirror so you see it would be totally opposite right so mirror is the main thing in this chapter we have completed the question let's do the quick recap here so basically the title of this um, beautiful chapter is snake and the mirror written by waiku muhammad bashir it is written in malayalam is a malayalam author but it is translated by v abdullah but author is waiku muhammad bashir okay main two character doctor and the snake theme what is the theme important theme revolves around the theme of human vanity and fears how they affect people it also points in a humorous way at the difference between appearance and reality how you appear in the mirror but how does you how what what really you are right so it promotes the necessity of one simplicity you should be simple not fashion showing right so you just see one more recap we'll quickly do a doctor lived in a small rented home with rats one summer he had settled down in a chair he want he wanted to admire himself and improve his appearance because he was a eligible bachelor so there suddenly had a sound of something falling the snake had fallen over the back of the chair and landed on the shoulders of the doctor correct it coiled around his left arm and doctor start to sat that you know very calm and carefully without moving he thought of various medicines he had and if anything would help if the snake did bite him okay but the snake did not bite him he saw himself and went away correct so next day when he came back with his friends he found out that the whole house was stolen you know so the things were stolen the he got to know that there was only one dirty vest left there everything else was stolen so with this students we have completed the today's chapter the snake and the mirror now we are going to come up with more such exciting videos from your ne- other books right so make sure to like this video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel right away thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you very soon in upcoming videos till then take care and good